Hey guys, it's Cody Cass here. I'm going to do a visual update on this video. I'm going to go over my guitars, my pedal board, and my amps. Pretty much everything that runs the show. Um, first, I'm going to start over the guitars. So right here is my PRS Tremonti. Black. I love this one. It has the uh, Seymour Duncan 57, bare knuckle, right here. It plays really nice. I keep this one on drop beat. Never mind. Gibson Les Paul Classic. It's in the Honey Burst. Got the Zach Wild EMGs. Love this guitar. I think it's heavy. I keep this one in a uh, drop C. Then we got my uh, Gibson Explorer 2. They only made this model for uh, one year, a certain run. But it's got the Zach Wild EMGs in this. I keep this one in drop B or B flat, depending on. Uh, when we're riding or not. But for live, I just keep this one in B for a backup. Uh, next, I'm going to show you my pedal board. I have the uh, Digitech Whammy going on right here. Love this pedal. And then I have the Crybaby from Hell. And then my TC Electronics G system. And then this is the Boss Volume or Expression. I use it for volume though. And this right here is my Phase 90. This right here is my uh, Polytune. Awesome, awesome tuner. I had a Boss tuner, but I uh, traded it for that. But they're about equal to me. Um, this right here, this is my ABY box. I use this to switch between my, uh, my Les Paul and my PRS guitar. And right here, I have everything color coded. So you can see where the yellow from that goes into this, so I know how everything runs. Once again, on my little cables and stuff are color coded and these are little true bypass patch boxes that way all my pedal or all my cables and stuff run to the right so they're not in the middle of the stage when I'm playing then um, we'll start with the cabinets this is the original Mesa 412 oversized recto cabinet you can see the corners it's a straight cabinet but it's slant baffle and then you have my uh, 212 and then my new uh, Hughes and Kettner Triamp MK2. This thing's really, really bright. Really cool head. Has uh, three amps built into it. So you pretty much have two channels per amp. And you can see where it says amp right there. That's pretty neat. Um, then you have my Laney GH uh, 120. I only use the preamp section of this right now. And I use it for uh, when I tune in drop B because it helps clean my tone up a little bit more. And then down here is my power conditioner. It's so the M80X or MDX, whichever one you want to call it. And then my Sennheiser E2 wireless, or EW2 wireless. And then you have my Sonic Maximizer. This is a 882i. I use this for clean channel only. And I run uh, both of them in to the back of my G system. So here's my uh, TC Electronics G system. This is the brains for it all. It's the schematics for how everything works on it. Then you have a patch bay right here that I was using, but now I got this little box I put in here. And this is my little drawer or tray, whatever you want to call it. I have uh, a RJM. This right here is for when I have my triple rectifier. I had it sitting right here at one point. I'm about to get a Road King to put up there so I can run them in stereo. Um, this is a T-Rex Michael Angelo Badia killer pedal. This is a um, a jackhammer. It's been modded. It's a Marshall pedal. I'm currently not using it right now because I'm testing this um, GH120 out in place of it. So it's working out pretty good. I got my uh, drawer of crap. Has my box for my wirelesses, tools, pretty much everything I need. My little extra compartment. Has all my tape, my wires, pencils, notepads, or write stuff down. So I write songs a lot. Also, uh, this road case is from uh, Roadhog Cases. Check them out. You guys are awesome. So, that was the visual. And I will go back and play it and show you how everything works. Take care.